Welcome to this video from Learn Electrics, which shows you the method to find answers to exam questions quickly and easily. This video is just about part five of the wiring regulations. Part five exam questions make up a very large part of the 18th edition exam and knowing how to find the answers is a must. The 18th edition amendment two exam is not about what you can remember. It's about you understanding how the wiring regulations book works. It is testing your ability to find an answer in the book. Some important notes on the actual exam. The exam is open book. You can use the wiring regs book in the exam. And in fact, you would find it difficult to do the exam without it. But BS 7671 18th edition amendment two is the only book allowed in the exam. You must not write in your book, nothing that could be considered as gaining an advantage. That means no formulas, no notes, no drawings. A calculator is essential and it must be non-programmable and mobile phones are definitely not allowed. Some exam centres will insist that you use their books and their calculators. Check with your exam centre. Understanding how the book works is essential. In this video, we will look at part five, the selection and erection of equipment. You should expect 14 or 15 questions on part five. That means up to 25% of the exam questions are on just part five. And part five outlines how we can meet the requirements of the regulations when selecting and erecting devices, cables, accessories and other equipment. So how do we find answers to part five questions? Go to page three, the main contents page, and shown here are the entries for part five. Notice that the main contents page is only a very brief description of part five and the chapters. If you want more detail, more information, then we should go to page 127 as shown. You will find contents pages specific to part five on pages 127 and page 128. These give a lot more detail than page three and will improve your search for answers to exam questions. And each chapter also has its own contents page with even more information. You must get to know these contents pages and be able to find them quickly. Knowing how to use the information on these contents pages really does help. Let's show you this with some example questions. We will work through the method step by step to find the answer. The question asks, when selecting residual current devices, RCDs, for protection against the risk of fire, they shall have a residual operating current not exceeding what? And following the question are four possible answers. Only one answer is correct for this question. Pause the video after the questions or as required to make sure you understand the methods used. The first thing to do is to pick out the keywords in the question. Without the keywords, how do you know what you're looking for? Here, I've highlighted the words selecting, residual current devices and risk of fire. Go to page three, the main contents page, and this is my go-to page. Everything starts from here. On page three, we can see that part five, selection and erection of equipment, matches our first keyword selecting. Follow to the right hand side of the page and it tells us to go to page 127. If we go to page 127 we will find the part 5 contents page. It actually continues over onto page 128. Looking down the page we can see chapter 53 and then section 532 titled devices for protection against risk of fire. That's another of our keywords. We are directed to 532.2, residual current devices for protection against the risk of fire. And that's another keyword. By using the contents pages, we've reduced our search to just one regulation in the book, regulation 532.2. And here on page 159 is regulation 532.2. There are just three lines to go through and there we have our answer not exceeding 300 milliamps. So we should choose answer D, 300 milliamps. 
Now we can look at question 2, and again we will follow this step by step. This question asks, when selecting and erecting wiring systems in relation to the external influence of waves of water, AD6, the regulations specifically state the protection against mechanical damage shall be afforded by one or more of the methods of regulations and again four possible answers. The first task, look for the keywords in the question. These are going to help your answer search. The keywords I've chosen are selecting and erecting, wiring systems, external influence, waves of water and mechanical damage. Again, begin on page 3. Part 5 is all about selecting and erecting and chapter 52 is about wiring systems. That's two of our keywords just on page 3. The book then tells us that more information about chapter 52 can be found on page 139. If we go to page 139, we don't have a contents page. But look at the page opposite, page 138. There is the contents page for chapter 52. On the contents page, we will find 522.3, Presence of Water, AD telling us to look at regulation 522.3 and we can go there now it's on page 141 and there is our answer regulation 522.3.3 tells us that we should be looking at regulations 522.6 to 522.8 and that's the answer look down the list and choose answer C let's do another one question 3 now we are asked when selecting a protective conductor, the minimum cross-sectional area can be calculated using which formula shown below. And this time, the four answer choices are in the form of pictures. Four formulas are shown. We must select the only one that is correct. We don't need to know how the formula works. We just need to find it in the book and select the answer that matches the book like for like. Again, start with choosing your keywords. I've chosen selecting, protective conductor and cross-sectional area. If we start on page 3, the keyword selecting leads us to selection and erection part 5. Staying on page 3, we have chapter 54 called earthing arrangements and protective conductors, another of the keywords. And this indicates page 197. Opposite page 197, is the contents page for chapter 54 on page 196. Find 543 and the keyword protective conductors. And just below this is another keyword, cross-sectional area, 543.1. So let's find 543.1 on page 199 and there is our answer. All we need to do now is to match the formula on page 199 to one of those shown as possible answers and we should choose answer D. Within part 5 is a chapter about other equipment. Its importance should not be underestimated. Look on page 3 and find chapter 55 other equipment and we will find that this chapter begins on page 208. Again we need to look at the previous page and chapter 55 contents is on page 207. Here's a list from page 207, all the equipment that is mentioned in chapter 55. It's a long list and you must get to know what is on page 207. Page 3 won't tell you, you need to find this page. And do expect questions on this chapter. Let's have a look at a question on other equipment. This question often pops up. Every electric motor shall be provided with control equipment incorporating means of protection against overload of the motor if it has a rating exceeding what? Find your keywords, know what you are looking for. We know that an electric motor is a rotating machine and we know that rotating machines are to be found in chapter 55. So page 3 tells us that chapter 55, other equipment, is on page 208. Find page 208 and go back one page to page 207. There is the contents page for chapter 55. 
A few lines down, we will find 552 rotating machines, one of the key words. Now find regulation 552.1.2 on page 212 and we should find our answer. 552.1.2 tells us the answer. Every electric motor with a rating exceeding 0 0.37 kilowatts. We should choose answer B. But why is it 0 0.37 kilowatts? This number has not been randomly chosen. 0 0.37 kilowatts is the same as a half horsepower motor. Question 5 now and staying with other equipment. An auto transformer is connected to a circuit having a neutral conductor. The common terminal of the winding shall be connected to what? And four possible answers. Our first task, choose the keywords. As before, go to page 3 and find part 5. Find chapter 55, other equipment, and go to page 208 as indicated. From page 208, go back one page and find chapter 55, contents page. On page 207, find section 555, transformers. Find 555.1 on page 215, and then look at 555.1.1, and this will show you the answer. And here is 555.1.1 and the answer. We should choose answer A the neutral. Part 5 is an important part of the exam. Almost 25% of the questions will be on part 5 so you must understand how to find the answers in the book. Randomly flicking through the book will seldom work. You need something more professional. Although the exam rules do allow coloured post-its to be used, the methods in this video are far more reliable and much quicker. You can't post it everything and you still need to read them. So why not read the contents pages? It's easier. And remember, if you have any questions about the exam, the books, calculators, etc., speak to your exam centre before the day of the exam. Some exam centres will supply their own books and their own calculators, and others will expect you to bring your own. Be prepared and good luck. Stick with it, practice these questions, watch the video again until you are proficient at this method. And always keep learning. Thank you for watching this video, it's very much appreciated. Please subscribe to our channel to get access to all of our videos and remember to click on notify to be sure of not missing our next video. And you'll find even more information, videos and help on our website at learnelectrics.com. And don't forget that you can also type in Learn Electrics, all one word, into the YouTube search bar to go directly to our channel at any time from any computer. We are constantly adding new videos to our channel, don't miss the next one. And once again, thank you for watching and we hope to see you again very soon.